10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Guy power and clump train elbow. Vehicle is supersonic. Coming up on one minute into flight, we're getting ready for maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle has reached maximum aerodynamic pressure. You've heard the call out. We're through the region of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Vehicle going supersonic as we leave the denser parts of the lower Earth's atmosphere. Falcon 9 trajectory looks good. All nine Merlin engines are at power. Everything looking good for Falcon 9. We're heading due east from Cape Canaveral, headed to the first of two orbits planned for today. Nice view from the onboard camera, looking back at the plume slowly expanding as we leave the atmosphere, the plume will get larger as we get out to the vacuum of space. Now today, first aid shutdown is planned for about T plus 2 minutes 45 seconds. We won't be recovering the first stage today, so that leaves more and propellant to burn to achieve the required orbit for the satellite. If you compare that to last week's CRS-18 resupply flight to the space station, on that mission the first stage shut down almost half a minute sooner than today. We needed to reserve enough propellant to be able to turn the first stage and return it all the way back to the launch site. Now coming up quickly in 20 seconds, a sequence of events, main engine cut off, the nine main engines shut down, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine coming up in just under 15 seconds. AVI stage separation confirmed.